Stop there at that dump and grab one, huh? What do you say, Monk? Okay, Snake. But let me tell you, I really don't like these little country places. I always get the feeling there's this gang of rednecks just waiting to swoop down on me and lynch me for screwing some guy's girl that I've never even seen before. You've been watching too many movies, man. Relax. Let's just go in here and enjoy some Southern hospitality, all right? Southern hospitality? Yeah. You got it. But this place looks really rednecky. Beer. <laughs> Don't go causing no trouble, Leon. I ain't causing no trouble, Pops. Just don't want no AIDS carrying dirtbag biker hanging around, that's all. How about some of that jerky? Hey, that jerk off wants some jerky. <laughs> you want them hell's angels? Leon, let this man have his jerky and be on his way. Shut up. You ever been in Vietnam? Yeah. That means you've been screwing them little chink whores. How do we know you ain't got some infectious social VD stuff you're spreading around? <laughs> You better give this guy the test, Leon. Yeah. Come on, boy, stand up. 
We're gonna check you out. I don't have time for any country boy doctor games. Oh, this ain't no game, dirt bang. Now drop your drool. Is this your idea of Southern hospitality? Hey, Monk, but I didn't get my beer yet. Monk! Come on, Dirtbag. about the damages. Hey, no problem. It's on me, pal. Hey, try some of this jerky. Deer meat, my personal favorite. Go take some more. Take some with you. <laughs> Thanks. Best damn fight we ever had in here. <laughs> See you later. Hey, hey, you come back any time, yeah? ain't the city. Out here we make our own goals. You're wrong. Drop to your knees and grab your ankles. No way. I ain't even gonna think about it. You're not so tough without your shotgun, are you? No! That's enough! They're not gonna just stay there and let us leave. Yeah, these guys don't look like the polite types to me. Yeah, here, tie him up with this rope. All three of you hug the tree. Face forward. Now! Hands behind your backs. You all are gonna pay for this. Out here, we run the game. How'd you know I was here to play a game, huh? You psychic. Hey, this guy must be a blaster, too. Yeah. You're out here for the game, too? Yeah. I got a map how to get there. Don't bother. I know how to get there. You can follow me. Come on. Come on, Monk. Come on. I'm gonna get you. I swear I'm gonna get you. You ain't... Where the hell's that turn, anyway? Lewis, where are we going? It's a surprise. All right.
Motor's sick. Come on, Gary Lee. Oh, don't forget your map. Thanks, darling. Attention all contestants. Orientation will be at 1,700 hours in the lodge. Repeat, 1,700 hours. Okay, we're ready to sign up now. Hey, move over. Hey, baby, you watch much TV? Why, you selling one? No, I'm an actor. Thought maybe you'd see me on a tube once or twice. Sure. Are you Cheech? Or Chong? <laughs> My office over here. Got the practice area down over here. Same. Same rules as the regionals. Torso hits is the only thing that counts. Okay. Got the restrooms. Here's the shower area. Who the hell is that? Oh, that'll be the bear. He tries to intimidate everybody right from the start. I'll see you later. Got to be kidding me. I can't believe that. <laughs> hey, Mike, who's that? Well, that's Yamada. He's a guy who trains all the federal agencies in anti terrorist tactics and special weapons. Here he comes from Japan's oldest samurai family. The guy is truly a legend in his own time. How'd he get on the dock? He's just another guy who likes to make an entrance. Good to see you again, Sensei. The registration is inside the cabin. Why don't you help him sign up? Okay. The equipment you sent is in my office. Let's go register. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? <laughs> may I have your attention, please, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Welcome to the first annual Master Blaster Grand National Championship. Now, you're all survivors of regional finals, and you've all won prize money. Now you're going after 50,000 bucks. Now, same rules as the regionals. Only torso hits count. Head, arms, and leg hits do not count. Now, let me introduce you to the judges. We have Tony, little Jennifer, this is Gunther, and the lovely Vicky. Now, the judges will settle all disputes. And being the ultimate judge, my decision is final. And only one of you is going to win it. That'll be the one who avoids the booby traps, finds the money, and gets back to camp without getting splattered by his or her enemies. Now, some of you know each other from past games. If not, I'm sure you've all heard about each other. And first up is Lincoln Shakir, winner of our Chicago regionals. Who's a spear tucker, sweet pea? That is Link. He's real sneaky and damn smart. Here we have Tony D'Angelo, winner of the Big Apple Games. Holy shit. A lot of you know Tony. He is a personal bodyguard for a very famous Italian uh, businessman. <laughs> Here we have police officer Samantha Rosen. And if she's as good with her air gun, if she is with her 38, uh, her 38, then you're in a lot of trouble. And sitting to her left is Jeremy Hawk. The Hawk's a real killer. He did a two-year stint in the Mekong Delta during the war. Next up, we have Lewis Carlisle, our token rock star, as aggressive in the woods as he is on stage. And I'm sure you've all seen Monk Rodriguez at the drive-in. He's the guy fixing the speakers. <laughs> no, Monk's an actor, I can't, when he can find a job. And I'm sure you've seen his buddy Snake Menendez in the post office's 10 most unwanted list. <laughs> <laughs> and we got three honest to God descendants of Daniel Boone sitting right here in this room. And they're all separate regional winners. We got Gary Lee, Bobby Joe, and Jimmy Rose Spencer. Howdy. Is at home in the woods as they are in the local cat house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
And we have Mr. Yamada, known as the Shadow Warrior. He always shows up when we least expect him. And Laura DaCosta, who earned her black belt in karate from Dr. Joyce Brothers. <laughs> Sitting to her left is novelist, journalist, Brad Sterling, whose latest work, The Joy of Sex in a Korean War Pup Tent, will soon be published. And last but not least, we have Dwayne Stark, attorney and ex-pro football quarterback. Ladies and gentlemen, nice to see you again. Michael, you said something about booby traps, correct? That's right. Uh, exactly, exactly what kind of booby traps? No big deal. Uh, snakes, snares, punji pits, all kinds of stuff. For Christ's sake, man, are you nuts? Booby traps can hurt people, my friend. Oh, calm down, Mr. Stark. Nobody's being forced to play here. 50,000 bucks is a lot of money. Oh, that doesn't mean anything to me, Michael. You know, the other games never had booby traps. This game is for the best, Stark. If you don't feel quite up to it, you can leave. Yeah. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Come on, son. Let's get out of here. Well, you people are crazy. Somebody's going to get hurt real bad. How come you didn't bring no hamburger? I wasn't supposed to. I was supposed to bring them. Where in the hell are they? I forgot them. Oh, shit, here comes Blinky. Mm. I I'll give you two six-packs of that there steak, buddy. This is not just a steak, my friend. This is imported Kobe beef from Japan. Come on, steak is steak. That's where you're wrong. This beef is unique in all the world. You see, the steer is fed a special diet of uh, beer and grain. Beer? And then they're hand massaged daily to make the meat is tender and as juicy as possible. All right, I give you four six-packs, but that's it. <laughs> I could buy 10 cases of beer with what I paid for this one filet, my friend. And unfortunately, tonight I have a craving for surf and turf. And I noticed that my affluent friend over there is in possession of the other half of my dinner. So if you uh, gentlemen will excuse me. How about a cup of watermelons instead, smart ass? Don't be worried about these morons, man. Their mother and father are probably both cousins. Yes. I've heard that's a common practice in this region. What'd they say about Ma and Pa? Shh. They ain't cousins, goddammit. You ready? What the hell are you laughing about? <laughs> what the hell are you laughing about, you dumb shit? <laughs> be <laughs> dirty, friend. Want to share your fire? I'd love to. All we have are some hamburgers, but you're welcome too. No thanks. Then how about some company? Come on. Okay.
Come on, let's dance. Come on, let's dance. This isn't Xenon's lover. Oh, but sometimes you really bore me. You haven't finished your supper yet. Come on. Come on. It's okay. Come on. They saved your ass. I could cut your ass, boy. I could cut you. Come on. What's that, Gary? You might have seen a goddamn bite. I've heard a goddamn sound. Come on. I'll get you a beer and you can finish your supper. Come on. I've lost my beer, goddamn. Yeah, I just want you to know we were right there. You know, just in case. Yeah, man. That was great, man. Wow. We seen him fight on the way here, man. He's really bad. Say, brother, you need any more help, man? I mean, if those rednecks mess with you, man, I'll be right there. Believe me. Come on, Bruce. All right, first thing in the morning, we drop the starting positions. For example, if I draw a D, I'd start right here. When I get to that starting position, they give me information that tells me how to get to the next information center. Now we got seven information centers around here, with 14 packets around each one. And the first guy to collect all the information wins the money. I thought you wanted to know about this. I think I understand everything now. But you can feel me if you'd like. These games appeal to the darker side of our personalities. Well, sure they do. All of us have a Mr. Hyde waiting to jump out and raise hell. But don't you think that's dangerous? Keeping him locked up is dangerous. So what do we become then? Killers? <laughs> Jeremy, can I ask you something personal? Would it matter if I said no? No, probably not. Then go ahead. Why are you so angry all the time? <laughs> I'm not angry. Jeremy, I've only known you for about 10 hours and already been in a couple hardcore fights. <sighs> Sam, I mind my own business. I just don't like to see people get pushed around, especially me. Let me ask you something. Go ahead. How long have you known him? Who? Mr. Rock and Roll, Carlisle. Am I that obvious? Uh. I met him last year at another game. I guess I was just another trophy. He never made it with a cop before. You sound pretty bitter. Yeah, I am. I thought I was over the bastard. I don't like feeling like this. How about you, Jeremy? Someone special? Nah, I don't have time for relationships. I move around too much. I think about it though sometimes. Kids and the whole deal, but uh But what? I can't do it. Why not? Because I don't want to. Everything I own's in that little bag there, and that's just not enough to give anybody. Sam, 
You don't know me. You don't want to. What I don't want is somebody I like telling me I'm wasting my time. You're very tempting. But don't try and break me down, okay? I survived. I do it my way. That's how I play the game. We'll see. stories about you, Jeremy. I've heard that you killed some Vietnamese civilians. And a couple of them were little kids. A little boy, a little girl. Well? Yeah, I killed him. I was a point man on a roadrunner team in the Delta. I came on this VC family, right in a burned out American bunker. The old man hit me in the arm with a machete, and I killed him. His old lady and his kids turned on me like a pack of wolves. By the time my team got there, they were all dead. You know, the Air Force was over there frying people by the hundreds with napalm. I got booted out of the service for killing some VC that were trying to kill me. Only difference was they didn't have to look at their faces. It was a shit war. And killing those people doesn't bother you? No, should it? I did what I had to do. When it's over, it's over. I don't look back. I just wish... I could be as sure as you. What are you getting at? Did you shoot somebody? No. I couldn't shoot. You want to tell me about it? I was on patrol with my partner, Lenny. Lenny was against the whole concept of women police officers. Busted my butt to prove to him I was a good cop. He finally accepted me. He liked me. Are you two an item? Lenny wasn't into women. What happened? We were going to smack into the middle of our arm robbery. Lenny tried to intercept. I called for backup. He got shot about 10 feet from the car. What did you do? I was dragging him back to the car. The dirt bag came around the corner. I had him in my sight. I hesitated. He didn't. He shot me. The other dirtbag came around the corner with a shotgun. Stuck it in my face and laughed. Then he turned around. Shot Lenny in the face. Backup got there. The dirtbag was gone. There I was, trying to put Lenny's head together. I never shot anybody before. Or since? No. I don't think I can. Then why the hell are you a cop? Because I like to help people. Look, if you want to help people, become a social worker. That's not fair, Hawk. We both did the right thing. Yeah, and we're still paying for it. I guess that's part of the game. Take care.
All right, inspection time. Line up. Everybody line up. I'll be checking your weapons for any illegal modifications of the number of pellets and the power of the weapon. All of the modifications are up to the individual. Now we'll have a drawing for the starting position letter at this time. Have your guns ready. Uh-huh. Fine. Good. Good. Mm-hmm. All right. Looks like you can't decide between Soldier of Fortune or Cosmopolitan. Where's your cami makeup? It makes me break out, but I've got this. Uh-huh. Good. These things holding up pretty good, Brad, huh? Yeah, they made them pretty good in those days. Well, looks like you're ready to take on Castor all by yourself. It's better to have and not need than to need and not have, my friend. Man, all you need is a brain. And all you need is a big finger to go along with that big fat mouth of yours. I don't get no complaints. That's probably because you never get laid, boy. All right, guys, cool it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's almost time for the game to start. At the sound of the horn, head for your starting letter and get your information packet. You'll have 10 minutes to get into the woods. No shooting of opponents until after the sound of the second horn. Now remember, your map shows you where the clues are. And don't forget the booby traps. Some of them can disqualify you. Good hunting. I don't like that redneck. He's just a graduate of Hee Haw University. Don't worry about him. Hey, you, redneck. Yeah, man, you talking to me? I want to nail your ass, cracker. Fuck you, slimeball. You called me slimeball. No, ah. no, snake. <laughs> Damn it, monkey called me slimeball. Oh, shit. You ready for that thing, Jennifer? Oh, oh shit, let's go. Oh, welcome to the game. Come on, give me, come on, give me, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I think I was going to let you get away with that wishing you good luck, did you? Next time I see you, I'm going to blow you away! All right, guys, head out to the judges' station. We're almost time for the game to start. You don't know what to do. Yep. Take off. Okay, Jennifer, get ready.
shit! Come back here, dumb shit! Fine. It looks like we got our first casualty. Thank you. Who nailed you? Hulk. Figures. Yeah, I had that nig. I mean, that black guy right my sights when I got plastered. You gonna stick around till tomorrow? Hell no, I'm going to Buster's Bar and Party. Hey, baby, you wanna go to the bar and have some drinks? Do they serve Dom Perignon? Shit, they serve anybody at Buster's. Well, you tell my brothers, give me a call, and I'll pick them up, all right? No problem. Hey, your brothers will be out there a long time anyway. Yeah. I don't know about that Bobby Joe, but that Gary Lee, he's a real killer. Bye. Boy, I'm glad I'm out of this shit. Them bugs eat my ass up. Boy, she had some nice tits on her. Why don't you come have a drink? Ooh. I told you, cover my ass, Bobby. Didn't mean it that way. Have you no sense of honor? Right in the back. None whatsoever. <laughs> Where'd you learn to shoot like that, girl? You two better get back to camp and report in. I'm off on a kamikaze mission. Let's go get a beer. Where, back at your place? Nah, I got a case hidden pretty close to here. Come on. Nah, I gotta get going anyway. Okay, I was just trying to be friendly. Where's the chip? Why didn't you shoot her? My gun's jammed. Well, get the damn money. No! Nice shot, officer. The brat already killed me. So what are you gonna do now? I'm going to go back and clean up and wait for the bastard who shot me to get splattered. Then I'll probably go back to his place and psychoanalyze him for a while. How about you? I'm going to go look for that bastard Lewis and shoot him in the balls. <laughs> and you can help. What's going on in that shrewd, analytical, man-hungry mind of yours? I don't know. I need a plan. We'll meet here in two hours. Shit. 
Is your gun jammed? Yeah, go ahead. Damn it, shoot me and get it over with. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm much too much of a sportsman to take advantage of a defenseless game. You think I'd shoot you? Oh, no. No, I'm gonna give you a fair chance. Just like you and your brothers always give everyone a fair chance. The hell I will. Hot damn! Okay. You think it's there, Monk? I know it's there. Now look, you cover me. I'm going for it. Okay. Go. Come on, go. Here it is, Snake. I've got it. I've got it. Ah! <laughs> oh, the horror. No yeah. horror. Well, hot shot, looks like you're out of the game. Oh, I am, huh? What's that shit, Monk? What does it look like? You can't use that, Monk. Paint thinner. I can use anything I want. Whatever it takes to win. Now we have to start all over again and find my info packets. Damn, that D'Angelo's a smart man. Relax. Damn, what do you need? to see a doctor, it's a pretty funny color. <laughs> oh, I want to get you, you faggot! Screw this, I need a beer.
finally got you, faggot. You slime ball! I shot you already! You're out of the game! Slime ball, huh? Son of a bitch! Here's your slime ball. I told you I was gonna get you. Good shot. That's too fighting over here. All right, you guys, cool it. What's going on? I All shot right, guys. Hey, break bag. it up. Break it up. What happened? I shot this dirt bag while he was taking a leak. He was out of the game, and then he comes back and shoots me illegally. Lewis, how come I don't see any paint on him anywhere? I don't know. Maybe wiped it off or something. That's what I'm going to show you. I ain't showing nobody my finger. Now, look, Snake, if you want to stay in the game, you got to prove that he didn't get you. I ain't got to prove shit. And I ain't showing nobody my finger. Then you're out of the game. No, you're out of the game. You're out of the game. They're all out of the game. If I have to show my finger here today, then there's something really wrong going on. Yeah, I ain't out of the game. I'm just going to keep playing it. And ain't nobody going to stop me. There's something really wrong going on here today. And I'll tell you something, you'll cost me $50,000. What are you looking at? Huh? Tell me, what are you looking at? Yeah, you'll keep playing that stupid game. I lost $50,000 because of your... You red-headed... Brick! That dude's crazy. Who got you? He did. All right, Brad, I'll see you back at camp. You guys got five minutes to get out of here. Ah! Splendid shot, Mr. Hawk. Nothing personal, I trust. Nonsense. The opportunity was just there. This game has been an entertaining diversion. Hey, thanks for backing me up with the rednecks. Good hunting, India. Thanks, Link. You play a good game. Damn it, man, that was my cut. Sam, I want to get back to camp to clean up. Damn it, if you're not back by the time I count to 100, you're on your own. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <gasps> Jesus! <sighs> you scared the friggin' life out of me, smart ass. I'm sorry, Laura, I didn't realize you were so jumpy. Jumpy? I've been waiting 20 minutes. Where you been? <laughs> so what's the plan? I don't want that jerk Lewis to win the money. So we are going to throw him some bait. Hey, here comes Brad. What took you so long? I was looking for Laura. Is she back yet? No, she hasn't reported in. Did she get flattered? Yeah, I got her. Show no mercy. She ought to be back by now. She'll be back. It's getting late. I'm going to go find her. I'll see you later. All right, Ben. We'll see you. Looks like the start of a romance. I'm going to my 
tent and read. I'll see you ladies in the morning. Good night, Judge. Good night. Where is everyone? There's usually more back in by now. Oh, who knows? They probably all went to Buster's Bar. One thing's for sure, though. What's that? I can bet Hawk's still out there. Well, why don't you two call it a day? Yeah. It is pretty dead tonight. See you in the morning, Judge. Yeah. <laughs> 
Mike. Sorry, we're late. Oh, it's no problem. I fell asleep doing paperwork last night. Looks like everybody's sleeping in today. Oh, most of them are still out playing. I think Brad and Laura shacked up someplace. <laughs> All right, go relieve Gunther and you, Tony. Yeah, I brought some sandwiches. He'll love them. I'm going to take the ATV. You take the car. Tony wanted to use it today. Okay. See you later, Judge. Mm -hmm. Bye. You wipe that off, smart ass. You son of a dog. Oh. Somebody's killing people. What are you talking about? What's going on? Snake. I found him and Lincoln. Somebody killed him. She got a damn psycho out there. Could be Hawk. Go call the sheriff. Bring me your gun. I'm gonna get on the ATV and find out what the hell's going on out there. I'm going with you. The phone's dead. Here, it's my gun. Damn it. Monk, get in your car. Go call the sheriff. Get the blacktop. Take a right to Buster's. It's closer. But go. You stay here. If anyone comes back, keep them here. I'll be in the woods.
Sam, wake up. Game's over. D'Angelo.
Thanks for the help, asshole. Put your hands on top of your head. Slowly. I knew leaving that key near her would get you crazy. I'm just glad I didn't have to take him out myself. What are you doing, Mike? What the hell's going on? Shut up! Move! Move! Your beer. Come nah, on, man, I can't. They're killing people at the games. I gotta call a sheriff. What are you talking about? Man, they killed Snake, they killed Link. I gotta call a sheriff. What about my brothers? Man, I ain't seen your brother since last night. I gotta call a cop. No, no, hey, 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 we'll go knock you up. Come on. Hey, tell me, call the sheriff. We're gonna wear a blaster. The blaster. Come on. Out on the bridge. Move! That's far enough. Why? Because that incompetent bitch killed my Lenny. And he was the only person I ever loved. I worshiped him. He protected me. And he died because that pig turned chicken shit. Let that puke blow my lady's face off. I'm an avenging angel. You're crazy. No, you are crazy, Hawk. Because you killed all those innocent people. You finally went nuts and started killing like you were back in Saigon. What other people? D'Angelo, Samantha, the black guy, Lisa, the one with the great tits, the rednecks, Mr. Yamada, and Snake, the crazy Cuban. You sick bastard. Why all the others, Mike? I sacrificed the pawns to get the queen. Now that I have you, the game is over. I think you get it all figured out, man. Huh? <laughs> You're dead. <laughs> Pretty tough to swim with a hole in your head, eh, frog man? God. What happened? Who is it? It's Samantha. Hawk shot her with an acid capsule. Would you find Laura? No. I hope to God he didn't get her. Hawk didn't kill her, he did. Laura. Samantha? Oh my God. We changed clothes. Laura's the bait that's gonna help me trap Lewis. I'm sorry, Brad. Mike killed Laura and Hawk and I don't know how many others. No, no, you're, you're wrong. You're wrong, it was Hawk. Hawk killed him, I saw him. He killed D'Angelo and the girl and he tried to kill me. I don't believe you. Look what he did to Laura. He was crazy. The war fucked him up. He thought he was back in Nam. You saw him. He pulled a knife on the Spencers. It was a fucking time bomb. He needed the money, and he killed to get it. I, I just killed him in self-defense. He couldn't have wanted it that much. You looking for this, Mike? Kill him. 
about you. Dead! You're just a piss poor shot. Hey, what's going on? One of you maniacs killed Laura. What about the pig? They got Lenny killed. Bitch killed my Lenny! It's just the game, asshole. I'm gonna give you the chance you didn't give anybody else. Go for it. Hawk, let the police handle this. I saw Mike shoot Hawk. I was too far here what they said, but... You never could resist a sucker play. I knew it wasn't you. God, I thought you were dead. Rock. That was no social worker, Officer Rosen. I owe you two. You're gonna have to help me spend this. I don't think I can. We'll see.